Hi, this is Alexis from the Kite Porter Magazine. I'm here with Market Air Rush. How are you doing, sir? Good, how are you? You got some beautiful looking surfboards this year. Let's walk through them. Okay, so in the 2014 directional line, we have three different models with two different constructions. We have a carbon and a wood construction. So it depends on which way you want to go. The wood construction is, you know, your mainstream line. The carbon construction features are patented active construction. So it's got a lot more response, a lot more snap, and it's a lot lighter. So if you're a bit more hardcore on your surfing, you'd want to go a bit more on the active construction. But anyways, in terms of models, uh, we're going to start with the more, uh, sorry, uh, offshore, down the line, pretty legit range called the uh, Converse. Uh, it's their most narrowest, the narrowest and um, most rocker oriented board. It comes in a tri-fink configuration um, as a stock and that can be used strapped or strapless. Most riders are using it strapless. Um, from there, we have something like the Compact. The Compact uh, <clears throat> was last year. Uh, it can be used about five inches shorter than your previous board. So if you were using the Converse last year, you could actually go four to five inches shorter. Um, it comes in a 5.5, five, 5.7, five, five, seven, five, nine. Um, this board I love to use, I use it at 5.7. Um, it's a little bit more the mid-range, so if you're using it in onshore conditions or cross-shore conditions, strapped, strapless, it'll do it all. Um, it handles high wind really well. Then the Cypher, this came out a couple of years ago. <clears throat> um, this has the least amount of rocker to it um, and a double concave, what we call flying V. Um, configuration and it can be used in a 5, 4 or we use it in a 3 um, fin configuration. Um, really good for people that are getting into strapless or riding in lighter winds. More forgiving. Yeah, more forgiving. So it's got a lot more width to it and it comes in various uh, lengths like a 5, 5 4, 5, 6, 5, 8 and a 5, 10 for lighter winds. Okay. Now going into more of the directional but um, light wind specific is something called the Slayer. So, oops. so what we've noticed in the past few years is we have um, a really well known board called the Sector that everyone loves. So we try to take that Sector board and bring it into more of a strapless freestyle board. So this is when we came out with the Slayer. Um, it comes in a smaller board, a 54, and then it comes in a 60 for lot, light, lot larger guys or lighter winds. Um, extremely fun to use and extremely easy to use for anyone that's wanting to get into strapless riding. Um, yeah, really cool bottom features. We have a double step, um, so that way you're quite even footed when your front foot and your back foot are on, so it's equal planning well service. Yeah, well balanced. Um, and a lot shorter fins. We took a lot of the um, influence from like freestyle windsurfing. So we had a lot of uh, shorter fins so you could really push it out, ride fin first. So we have this kicktail on the bottom as well. So you can ride the board backwards. So Pop, shove it 180s yeah. basically, yeah. all the new school stuff. So it reduces the catch so it's a lot easier to play around with it. Yeah. And finally we have the sector. Uh, really, what is there not to say about this board? This has been going on for about, this is V4, so it's been 2009, 2010 when we first started the wide body revolution, starting with the 60 centimeter wide one. Um, we've added quite a few new boards in the range, so it comes in like a 54 and a 60, and then a 65 in what we call the one, des one design class. So it's a little bit more race oriented. With uh, the 54 and the 60, they're a lot more user friendly. It's purely for going out in the lightest winds possible, and you're not really a racer. You just want to go out and have fun. Perfect weekend warrior board. If you're coming from the city and you want to go to the beach, uh, my hometown, Cape Cod, we got a lot of those guys coming from Boston. They just want to go w ride. They just ride. And they, you don't need to check the wind. You just bring the board and you're having a session. So where can they get more info on all these boards? On all the boards, you can go to airrush.com. That's with one R, A-I-R-U-S-H. Thank you so much. Cheers. Have a go.